Welcome to sunny Goa and we're here to drive the new Baleno which is bolder and offers more features than ever before. So let's look at the changes in five quick points. The design of the Baleno is easily recognizable. The new projector headlamps with arrowhead like LED DRLs immediately grab your attention. Even the front grille is wider now and gets a sleek chrome garnish. The front bumper is all new with a bolder fog lamp housing and wider air dam. And the 16-inch precision cut alloy wheels also add some spunk. Overall, the new Baleno has a great road presence and appears wider and squatter now. cabin layout has been completely revised, including a new dashboard, new seats and a few segment first features to add to the mix. As before, the cabin is one of the roomiest in the segment. The dashboard now sports a nice black, silver and blue color theme. There's a new flat bottom steering wheel with toggle buttons and silver accents. Even the driver's instrument cluster has been updated to keep things fresh. But the talking point is the new 9-inch touchscreen which is larger and has better touch sensitivity, crisper graphics and is loaded with features. It comes with an interactive voice assistant and the widgets on the home screen can be customized to your own liking. The Arkami sound system lifts your mood and there's Android Auto and Apple CarPlay while the top variants boast of a 360-degree view and even a heads-up display with an adjustable screen. And there's voice-activated Alexa assistance, which comes handy as long as you have your phone network connected. Play some music. Okay, asking Spotify to play some music. But it still misses out on some features like wireless phone charging and even a sunroof. Surprisingly, there's no rear middle seat headrest either. But it's good to see six airbags now available on the top two Zeta and Alpha variants, along with other safety features like hill hold in AMT version and ESP. Now the Berlino is only offered with one petrol engine the 1.2-litre K-Series that makes 90 horsepower. It comes with the fuel-saving idle start-stop system, but this time round, there is no mild hybrid system for additional torque boost or efficiency. The standard option remains a 5-speed manual gearbox, but now the automatic alternative is an AMT instead of the more expensive CVT sported by its forebearer. The idea here, Maruti say, is to make the automatic version accessible to more people. The highlight is the promise of class-leading fuel economy with a clean figure of 22.94 km per litre, which is about half a kilometre more than the manual version. During a drive comprising a mix of highway and city roads, the Berlino returned nearly 17 km per litre, which is decent for a spacious hatch like this. The key takeaways are the improved fit and finish of the cabin, the new infotainment system with a 360-degree camera and connected features, the efficient engine and improved suspension as well. Personally, the AMT is not our favorite automatic gearbox, but it has helped Maruti Suzuki price the top-end variant well at Rs 9.5 lakh egg showroom. Having said that, the Balino has improved in almost every respect and will remain the driving force behind Nexa showrooms for now. Well, there's a reason why the Bellino is one of the most popular cars to roll out of Nexa showrooms. And now, with the additional features, better styling and an aggressive pricing, it's an even better package. But what matters most is what you think about the car, which you can let us know in the comments below. Well, this is Sarmad signing off for Car India.